Agnivi is an intercontinental ballistic missile being developed by the DRDO for the use of the Indian Armed Forces. Description. Agnivi will be a four-stage intercontinental ballistic missile, which is in the hardware development phase after its design phase was completed. Agnivi is expected to have multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle as well as maneuverable re-entry vehicle, and these maneuver Maneuverable warheads will give Agnivar an extended range exact figure of which is currently classified. It will be taller than its predecessor Agni-V, and is expected to be flight tested by 2017. The government of India is yet to approve the project. Although DRDO has completed all calculations and started the engineering work, it is reported to be the latest and most advanced version among the Agni missiles. According to sources, Agnivi missile is likely to carry up to 10 MIRV warheads and will have a strike range of 8,000 km to 12,000 km. Though DRDO has refused to confirm the missile's range, a scene Senior DRDO scientist was quoted as saying that the new generation Agnivi missile will be sleeker, easily transportable and would be readily deployed. It will have the capability to be launched from submarine and from land-based launches. History Opacity regarding the development till 2009 It was reported that the government of India had not considered the development of an ICBM with a range of 10,000 km or above. Speculations of an ongoing program for a longer-range ICBM resurfaced in 2011. Some reports claim that the ICBM is already named Surya and code named Agnivi. Other reports suggested that New Delhi had not given serious weight to the necessity for an ICBM. DRDO can take up a project to develop India's ICBM only after permission from the government of India, since India is not a signatory to the missile technology control regime. The Indian missile program is not limited by any treaty commitment to cap the development of ICBM capability. Some media reports had occasionally suggested that, despite India being a non-signatory to MTCR, there is a voluntary moratorium on developing missiles beyond the range of 5,000 km. Indian Air Chief Solution to a Longer Range ICBM In June 2011, for the very first time then IF Chief Marshal Pradeep Vasantnik vehemently argued in favour of broadening India's nuclear strike capabilities beyond the immediate neighbourhood. Naik, who was also the head of the Chiefs of Staff Committee, stated that India should pursue an ICBM program to acquire ranges of 10,000 kilometers or even more. Breaking out of the regional context is important as the country's sphere of influence grows. We have no territorial designs on any country, but India needs the capability to match its sphere of influence. Doubts about viability. In October 2011, a report published by the Pioneer raised doubts about DRDO's ability to independently develop the CK technology eligible for ICBMs that could enable the missile to traverse long distances in excess of 10,000 kilometers. The same report also asserted Russia's willingness to provide India with help in the field of CK technology. The authenticity of the Pioneer report is disputed by at least one foreign newspaper, with the counterclaim that the involvement of Russia is probably inflated out of proportion, because if the report about Russian involvement is true, Russia may be suspected of violating the missile technology control regime. In response to the skepticism, a top DRDO scientist asserted that India has all the equipment and technology technology needed to develop ICBMs, but where the warhead should go or what the range should be will have to be a political call. 
confirmation of the program. On 20 June 2011, Indian Defence News published an article titled India Serious about 10,000 km ICBM which stated that India is seriously contemplating to enhance the reach of its strategic missiles and that the Ministry of Defence is considering a DRDO proposal to develop intercontinental ballistic missile, capable of hitting targets 10,000 km away. Building an ICBM has international ramifications and the ultimate decision to go ahead with the proposal would be taken by the Cabinet Committee on Security. In April 2012, after the successful launch of Agni V, Saraswat revealed that India had no plan to cap the Agni program and there will be more on missiles in the series of Agni missile. Recent developments in May 2012 reports confirmed the development of another ICBM in the Agni series, a three-stage Agni VI missile. It was purported that the missile will be developed in 2014 or so and will have an even longer range, up to 8,000 km to 10,000 km. The Agni VI will be sleeker than the Agni V and capable of carrying at least 10 nuclear warheads, capable of targeting multiple targets at the same time. In January 2013, DRDO Chief VK Saraswat said that after the development of Agni V, DRDO will develop Agni VI, which will have multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle capability. He said that the missile design has been completed and DRDO is in the hardware realization phase. Agni VI, the new multi-target missile under development, will serve as a force multi Supplier, Defense Research and Development Organization Chief V. K. Saraswat said on 9 February 2013. Agni via SLBM. The SLBM version of missile will arm the Arihant class submarines of the Indian Navy. DRDO revealed in 2012 that it is also in the process of developing another variant of Agnivi missile. This will be a submarine launched solid fuel missile with a maximum range of 6,000 km and a payload of 3 tonnes.